Hey everyone, this last Sunday we shot the second promo for the Zombie Homecoming show that's going to be in Milwaukee on October 21st. Um, this second promo video has a sexy zombie slumber party scene and we had to get three to five ladies um, who would agree to shoot in their underwear. And on Friday I ran into some problems because the guy that had promised me the ladies wasn't able to come through so I had to get a different guy with different ladies last minute and when Jack and I, Jack is the director of uh, these promo videos, when we had met on 6 p.m. on Sunday we still weren't sure if the ladies were gonna pull through and if they knew they were supposed to be in their underwear or not so this next footage is um, some behind the scenes footage of the shoot and the first clip is of me and Jack in the car on the way to the location discussing whether we think the ladies know that they're going to be in their underwear or need to be in their underwear for the video. Check it out. <laughs> I don't want it to be a thing where he has to convince them to take off their clothes, you know. That's why, but we'll see. Well, maybe they already know it and it'll be fine. And are you videotaping this? <laughs> it's... I, I like working with people who like to work with me and so like these ladies I have a feeling that they don't yet know that I want to film them in their underpants which of course is kind of a joke is that they're they're sexy ladies in their underpants but then I'm gonna zombify them and so then they'll be kind of like uh, mindless sexy ladies which is funny like that's part of the joke um, and then your friend tells you that you have to give them like beer uh, and they're all of age they're all of age um, you, that you have to get them like a little loosened up for them to feel comfortable being in their underwear and now you're telling me he might have to convince them to get into their underwear well or to get out of their clothes they're probably already in their underwear and then and then I turn into a skeezy guy where I'm just like I want to see you in your underpants and which of course I do but that should have been part of the initial conversation Shane and I don't, I don't want to be in the position where I have to convince someone to take their clothes off. And that sounds dirty. That sounds dirty. I don't want to be in the position where I have to be like, oh, it's time to take your clothes off. And then she goes, no, no, I don't want to take my clothes off. Because if she says that, I'm going to be like, okay, well, I'm sorry that you came. Because now you should leave. Because <laughs> I need ladies who will take their clothes off. And then I sound like a bigger jerk, you know? It, it's a lose-lose for me if they don't know that I want them to take their clothes off them to take their clothes off. They look like nice looking ladies. So in one, so one in general, I want them to take their clothes off. Two, I specifically want them to take their clothes off for this video that requires ladies with no clothes on. Ah, I'm getting neck twitchy. I, that happens when I'm under stretches. My eye is this part of my neck it goes like that. And uh, that's that's when you know some shit's getting oh. real. <laughs> like this usually when I go to a shoot everyone knows what's going to happen or is someone I know good enough where if I just tell them to do something it won't be a thing and then we can all work together and have a really fun time but if we have to spend a little bit of time like coaxing these girls out of their pants this is my coaxing maneuver by the way it works like a charm that, that kind of looks like an eagle claw or something. Yeah, an eagle claw. It's a power move where it's like a get out of your pants. And they're just like, foom. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> uh, he was going around to the show last night. Yeah. Just, hey, how's it going, dude? What did you think of Direct Hits set in comparison to everyone else's set? <laughs> Would you like to talk about how that went? I know how you like it. I'm going to Morris Cohen it to you. Yeah. That looks sweet. Okay. It went about like this. So how are we shooting this? Yeah. Um, so we'll shoot it in a really cool way, like, you know, we'll shoot it from far away and it'll look very dark and we'll, we'll, we'll have you do, like, a big whop and I'll, I'll put some, like, effects in there to make it look like you really, like, you know, took his head off. And then, okay. so then you're gonna go back to searching for food, right? You know, it'll be in here and, like, we'll give you, like, a little backpack or something to put food in. Yeah. And then, you know, you hear something over there, huh? What's it, what is it? And, you know, we'll have you sneak over there and then you'll open the bedroom door to a sexy zombie slumber party. Oh, okay. <laughs> so the girls are all gonna be made up and stuff like that then? No, no, I'm, uh, I'm doing all the makeup in post. Um, okay. So we won't have to worry about, you know, messing up your... Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, cool. So, um, 
So yeah, and then that'll and then I don't know how to end it yet with whether you're gonna kill them or join in on the action. Okay. So. Sounds good. <laughs> Should just be a final shot of me just unzipping my pants and that's it. Exactly. That's it could be something that easy. I kinda like this one. It's just like yeah, Pink of, guns of going to um, town. Uh, we'll just have you head into the bedroom then. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so we're we're going to use that. It's not bad. Yeah, we're going to use it. Absolutely. I have one in my butt too. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Um, chain. <laughs> Okay, so the wrap up is here again. Titan. The wrap up is that that went great. Those ladies were wonderful. All of my preconceptions about them were wrong. Um, it's my fault for judging people too fast. I, I do that a lot with people. I kind of jump the gun, um, and you know, it's something that I need to I need to learn to be better as a human but those ladies were wonderful and they did a really great job and they they all helped us out and they were very nice and funny and i think it's going to be great i mean a fart noise to end that it's a great way to end it